only takes a tiny corner of the 106th anniversary of the great quake was remembered in the early morning hours of April 18th. It's exactly 5:11, so folks, I'd like to ask for a minute, a minute of silence to remember those who perished and those who survived to rebuild San Francisco. Let's just have a, a moment of silence for a minute right now. San Francisco's city officials and public safety leaders were joined by hundreds of residents at Lotta's Fountain near the corner of Market and Kearney Streets for the annual wreath laying ceremony. The 106th Remembrance actually began the day before at the Weston St. Francis Hotel. Under the clock were three San Franciscans who were alive during the 1906 quake and fire. 106-year-old George Quillacy was joined by Winnie Hook, also 106, for an afternoon celebration. Bill DeMonte joined them through Skype. And it is, it is such a wonderful way to, to connect the dots between our, our world of technology today and, and obviously the past. And that's what we're here to do is to commemorate the great past here in San Francisco and all that it signifies. And the Westin St. Francis, the hotel that we stand in, has always played such a big part of it. A photograph on the anniversary cake showed the emergency kitchen set up in the St. Francis lobby in 1906. At each anniversary, the city's public safety leaders remind residents to be prepared for the next great quake. Fire Chief Joanne Hayes-White assisted the two earthquake survivors as they made their annual trip to John's Grill for an early dinner. Both George and Winnie had to be up before dawn the next day when Master of Ceremonies Bob Sarlett welcomed everybody to the 106th anniversary. There is it. Have a nice day for Mayor Ed Lee, everybody. Have a great job. I have the pleasure of doing Mayor Ed Lee's commercials during his uh, run for mayor. I got to see Mayor Ed Lee. Gets it done. Okay, fantastic. Great to see you, Mayor. Terrific. Who else have we got here? Our fire chief is coming up soon, I know. Uh, and the police chief up to Lotus Fountain. Are we going to call for Rose Cliver's granddaughter? Where is she? Is she around? Like Ed Sullivan. Is Rose Cliver's granddaughter here? Her name is Cynthia Gisler to assist Mayor Ed with the wreath. David, do we have our wreath? There we go. Oh, there's. How about a nice hand for our great fire chief, Joanne Hayes White? The pride of St. Stephen's. Great to see you. How are you, Chief? Look terrific. Let's see here. And then, uh, do, do we have Cynthia close by somewhere? Yeah. Can somebody just nod yes to me? <laughs> okay, I will. This is Daughter Rose. How are you today? It's good to see you here. And uh, we'll pass the mic to the mayor here for a couple of quick words. We have uh, our fire chief, our police chief, and our sheriff. I'll, I'll, I will get to that. Uh, but first, a couple of words from the mayor. How was it this morning, Ed? Nice to see you. Bob, uh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Wow, wonderful turnout here. 106 years since our 1906 earthquake. And it's a wonderful tribute. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Thanks to our chiefs our Director of Department of Emergency Management, Ann Cronenberg, and her son are here this morning. Thank you. A grandson. All right. We got our interim sheriff here, Vicki Hennessy, joined us. Scott Wiener is here from our board. Scott's the only guy from the board awake. All right. Yes, and we do have the granddaughter? Yes. Yes, of Rose Kyber. She was with us in 2009, and I recall that uh, we were here. Public Works is here, making sure the fountain works. I remember that in that role. Uh, is, tell me, is, is Mayor Brown here? He's got to be here somewhere. Too early. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Actually, well, I want to thank everybody for being here on this wonderful celebration. Uh, we are paying tribute to Rose Cliver who was a survivor, was with us in 2009. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away in February, but we're laying the wreath in her name today. and reminds us of the 3,000 people that passed away in 1906, uh, that devastating earthquake. But I'll tell you, the rebirth of our city is with us. The spirit's still with us. We are getting ready, more and more prepared. And as the mayor, as you know, I'm paying attention to this. I've been in all these other positions where we are always prepared, not only for a great response, as the Chiefs will always tell us, but we're already engaged in recovery. 
recovery efforts. And I was down there at the lower uh, Crystal Springs Dam yesterday with our Ed Harrington, our general manager, and the whole PUC staff, uh, members of San Mateo County. You know, we've got six reservoirs, and the whole Hetch Hetchy water system is well on its way to seismic reinforcement. We assure you that when the next big event happens, that water system will be there for us to deliver water within 24 hours. Big, huge change from depending upon this fountain back in 1906. <laughs> but we're getting ready, we're practicing it, we're handing it off to generations of the youth in our city to make sure they understand how to get better prepared. And if you're in any doubt, go to our website, 72hour.org, tells you all the things there. It's not about buying an expensive kit or anything like that. It is about just having those items prepared, having an attitude that we only we will survive, that we work together with each other, that we collaborate and we communicate with our families. That's how we get ready. That's how we celebrate. That's how we honor all the people that left us in the earthquake, but also that we make sure our city is ready, make sure you're ready. Thank you for being here this morning. Congratulations to our survivors, George. Winnie and Bill, thank you. Very nice job, Ed. You padded this almost to when we have to speak at 5.11. Nice going. <laughs> and right behind me here is, is, is a good friend and a great, great fire chief, Joanne Hayes-White. I mean, I, I, you, you go back 106 years. I mean, what kind of changes is the fire department making in these times to get ready for something that might occur again? Good morning, everyone. Thanks, Bob. Good morning. We're making lots of changes. And, and just yesterday, uh, one of the survivors couldn't be with us in person, but it was amazing. I was Skyping, actually, with Bill Del Monte. So uh, those are some amazing changes. But it does give us uh, the opportunity to remember what happened 106 years ago this morning. We commemorate those that suffered losses in, in their lives and, and, uh, and hardships. But we also celebrate the great resolve of our city that was nearly swept from the map. It, you recall it was the earthquake, but truly the fires that raged for three days that caused great devastation. And we also take this opportunity to educate and remind everyone the importance of preparedness. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to work under the direction of Mayor Lee. He is a public safety champion. He's a preparedness champion. He lives it. I've seen him preparing his own kits for his house, his workplace. And it's all about teamwork. I'm proud to be working with Chief Sir Ann Cronenberg from the Department of Emergency Management and our Sheriff Vicki Hennessy. Uh, Scott Wiener, it's a pleasure to have you out here. I think you're going to help us hang the wreath, which is great. We always have trouble every year, so you have a role. So that's appreciated. Um, all the members of the San Francisco Fire Department, I'm proud to work with you. Thanks for being here today. The people in the yellow helmets, it's a great program. It's our neighborhood emergency response team program. Thank you to all the nerds that are out here. And we also have uh, our partners with uh, the Red Cross, American Red Cross in the Bay Area. Harold Brooks is here this morning. Harold, thank you for being here. So thank you. It's become a tradition for many of us out here. And uh, again, I hope you have a great day and, and you remember exactly what happened 106 years ago. And it's great to be a San Franciscan. Great. Nice hand for the chief, everybody. I've seen this other chief speak a couple times in the last couple months, and I'm not sure you can have enough time. I'm going to give you about 45 seconds, Brad. Nice hand for Greg Sir, our terrific chief of police. Maybe just a nice little welcome. I'll just say good morning. I think our, our spectacular fire chief said it. We're lucky to have her. And again, we, we, we're lucky in San Francisco. We have a mayor who, as he said, he moved all through the chairs of preparedness, and Ann's got us ready to go, and we get a little more prepared every day. So uh, God bless to the survivors, and 106 years, it is unbelievable. Right. Well, Thank you, Chief. Uh, I think we back timed that pretty well. I got it. R R R ten. Well, that's, actually, it's a minute of silence at 5.11 I'm asking for, Dave. That's what it says, and it's exactly 5.11, so... Folks, I'd like to ask for a minute a minute of silence to remember those who perished and those who survived to rebuild San Francisco. Let's just have a, mo a moment of silence for a minute right now.
now 5-12. So I think the fitting way to end this ceremony, first of all, Rebecca Lawton's Fountain to lead the singing of San Francisco from the noble trumpets of the San Francisco Conservatory. These eight college and grad school trumpeters will be playing San Francisco on the direction of David Burkhart. Before we start, there were these little kind of like uh, cocktail uh, holders here. Everybody have their their words right here on these uh, little pieces of paper. So I'm going to give the countdown. As we hang the wreath, I'm going to give you guys a count here. You ready? Have a look at me. One, two, three, four, one. Only takes a tiny corner of this great big world to pick a place you love. I am a pilot. I find I love you still. I'm here to wait back to tell you. Department of Emergency Management, Ann Cronenberg and David Everly. Anchor Steam Brewing for those horns. Scott Sullivan Foundation, Captain Al Cassiato, the San Francisco Chronicle, John's Grill, Lefty O'Doul's, Ron Ross and the San Francisco History Association, the neighborhood. There they are. Right there. I think they've got a couple already. All right. And of course, the neighborhood emergency response team is NERT and, wait a minute, one more page, the American Red Cross and Donna Lil Coit Huggins for once again making this happen. I want to invite everyone to go to 20th and Church to the Golden Hybrid Painting or walk directly to Lefty O'Doul's for the 6 a.m. start of the annual Survivor Bloody Mary Breakfast where we will all meet up. And who knows, we may skirt the law and serve something before 6 a.m. I won't ask Greg, sir. Yes. Well, the book will be up. Okay. Where are they? Right over here? Hi, uh, this is the first time that San Francisco Public Library has had the bookmobile here and I had my little cheat sheet which I can't find but um, it, the library has always been with us after great disasters and we welcome them today. They're, I'm sorry I don't have it. There's a special book that won an award this year and Rebecca, the author, oh here's the book. Rebecca Solnit wrote it. Um, I downloaded it on my Kindle. It's terrific. You should all read it. You can check out copies of the bookmobile. Thank you. All right. There we go. A little plug for the library. A great place to be. Hey, great to have you. It's a great day for San Francisco once again. Thanks for being here. And you can join us at 20th the Church or, or start walking slowly to make first call at Lefty's. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Francisco, everybody.